نحمد و نصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد رب زدني علما و ألحقني بالصالحين رب شرح لي صدري و يسر لي أمري وحل أقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا و أنت تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم So Alhamdulillah, we started this surf. Uh, I would uh, like to go through some concepts and will, would like to revise them for the purpose of uh, strengthening and reinforcing your understanding. And uh, if we go to the group, you can see I have shared some documents with you today. First of all, I have shared one pager Uh, that is about the past tense, the complete gardan. The second uh, is of 14 pages, and it consists of all the uh, tenses, means uh, the past tense, the future tense, uh, the command, uh, ism file, ism mafrul, ism zarf, and various things. So, uh, uh, means uh, we'll also discuss one by one no need to worry about anything inshallah we'll together with Allah's help we'll learn everything then you can see that I have shared a handout from English book means if somebody uh, is not uh, able to understand the terminology we use in, uh, in uh, means Urdu or uh, Arabic The whole terminology is over there. In days to come, I will share the complete book with you. Okay. Uh, the purpose of sharing uh, this these ten pages is to give you complete introduction of the part we are learning at the moment. So that's why I have shared those ten pages. Then you can see that I have also shared a dictionary uh, that consists of eleven hundred thirty pages. This is the best one of the best dictionaries for you. Because it is in English and Arabic, it will help you a lot. We'll also I'll share, also, and will I'll teach you how to use Arabic dictionary, inshallah. And if you need some other dictionaries, I will also definitely share with you. Then you can see that I have shared the book that is Abu Abu Sarf. Abu Abu Sarf means all the chapters in the Sarf with all the gardan means all the sigas. All the words they are used in various tenses. They have been given in detail, and this book consists of 114 pages. So you don't need to worry about it. Before that, you saw that I also shared with you two books. That is Safwat al Masadir. Safwat al Masadir means, say, for example, we are learning a chapter, a family of verbs. So you will be given different. Uh, Those type of types of verbs they resemble or they are with the, the uh, specific family. Like we are going to learn that thalasi, mujarrad, thalasi, mazidi. So once you understand uh, one family and you memorize it in proper way, then you will be having other words from those fam that family specific family to keep for for revision purposes for practice purposes. And uh, I will discuss that how you can practice that. So these books I have shared with you, and uh, a bit uh, means a brief document. Uh, today I'm I'm I've also shared a handwritten one, and there is a purpose for sharing that. And I'll keep sharing the uh, these such documents uh, in every session until we complete the mukaddamat mukaddamatil surf. Because once we complete it, it will definitely give you comprehensive understanding, basic understanding. You won't be feeling difficulty while touching uh, the uh, formation of verbs in, in in different ways. So before completing means before starting that, this introduction will definitely enable you, and you will be at ease to move further. So there are some uh, means. Uh, Like uh, poetry in Arabic, and uh, I've given the four one. I'm going to explain them as well. That what does these uh, lines mean? Like the first one is a surf umul or ulumi. That the surf is the mother of all ulum. 
all knowledges. Okay. Wa nahu abuha. And the nahu is father of surf. So a surf that is mother of all ulum and uh, means nahu is father of all ulum. Means these two, Asarf and Wannahav, they have got such importance in a language or in knowledge that like the soul has importance in body, right? This means they, they are so important. Third one, Asarfu fil ulumi fin nujumi. Asarf is uh, having uh, is, is is has resemblance like the stars have light in them so surf has that importance or in 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 film like the stars have a uh, light in them so if surf if somebody knows surf so he will be having what light in all room then the fourth one, anahu fil ulumi kal badri fil nujumi, means anahu anahu is has resemblance like a moon that is in stars or that is surrounded by stars. So this is what the importance of these ulum is. Though definitely the difficulty level increases. But alhamdulillah, once you overcome all those difficulties, you will be having. Uh, Alhamdulillah, good level of understanding and you will be satisfied with Allah's grace. So, we were discussing about families. Uh, families in surf. In surf means when we talk about a verb, a specific verb that can have 14 sigas in Mazi, in Muzare, then I told you about the Mazi Ma'alum, that is active voice. We'll discuss that also in detail. That what is the difference between uh, Ma'alum and Al-Mazi al Al-Ma'alum, Al-Mazi Al-Majhul, Al-Muzari' like Al-Fi'l Al-Mazi Al-Ma'alum, Al-Fi'l Al-Mazi Al-Majhul, Al-Fi'l Al-Muzari' Al-Ma'alum, Al-Fi'l Al-Muzari' Al-Majhul. Then also, uh, al Ma'alum and Majhul, they also in Amar, that is command, and an Nahyu. Okay. So you will be learning all these details. And Alhamdulillah, uh, I have shared a complete book with you that consists of all these Gardan. We call it Gardan, means the 14 Sigas in a sequence that is a Gardan. Gardan in Mazi, Gardan in Muzare, Ma'alum, Majhul, and followed by various. So, as I told you, that uh, like, if we talk about uh, uh, noun, that noun also consists of three huruf, that is three huruf asli, and also four huruf, that four huruf asli, also five huruf and five huruf asli. Okay, asli means original. What is What does it mean? We'll, we'll learn, inshallah, that, will, that as well. Likewise, fail. Fail also consists of huruf asli. Okay. So the first, uh, we'll start with thulathi. And thulathi means the three basic root letters. That a word that consists of three basic root letter, letters. That is thulathi mujarrad. Mujarrad means that is only consists of three huruf, not more than that. And they are also asli. So uh, this, this it has family of it has six families or six chapters. Okay. Uh, before telling that, also let me tell you one more thing. Uh, I'll write that over here. That these through huruf asli that consists of far. Ayn and Lam. This is the stem. Okay. Uh, that is what the standard is or touchstone is. That the Thulathi Mujarad will consider three huruf. That is Fa and Lam. These are true huruf asli. 
if some extra letter is added, then it will be thulathi mazid fi. Means that is more than three letters, three original letters, and one or more extra letters. Then we talk about the rubai, means having four original huruf that consists of lot like fa. Ain, Lam, and Lam means the last word, last harf will be twice. And I will also answer the question why? Why is this so? And if we talk about the Fumasi, it has five original letters, or Huruf Asli, Fa, Ain, and three times Lam. Three times, okay. Now if somebody asks us a question, why should I say, means why we have got three touchstone letters and we are adding L, Lam, to Orobai to make it having four original letters and to Khomasi, three Lams to have uh, original five letters. Because whenever all those uh, experts in surf and nahu they want to bring a new concept understand new concept they would rather like to add a letter or more letters but they cannot reduce they don't want to reduce it so far ain lam is touch stone for thulathi and they, these are huruf asli if some other letter is say for example uh, we we'll learn also that that can be means uh, Alif can be added to that, like akrama yukrimu. One letter can be doubled, okay, like zarraba yuzarribu, sarrafa yusarrifu. But huruf asli would remain three in sulathi, mujarrad. And in mazidfi, we can have extra letters. The same is the case with orobai, mujarrad, four huruf asli. And if they we will learn about, they have got 14 chapters in it. In 14 chapters, the additional letters, the extra letters, will be added in the beginning or in the middle or in the last. You learn that also. And in Khomasi, means we have got five huruf asli. That means the mizan or the scale that consists of five huruf asli. But if it is going to be mazithi, then extra letter will be added to that. Until now, if you have any questions, please ask. Any questions? Yes, sir. Okay. So, Thilati Mujarad means three basic root letters. And what is the stem I told you? A stem of three three letters. What is the means to touch a stone? Sa'ala. So uh, fa ain lam, right? The first one is what? Fa ain lam, right? Okay, very good. Come now, we, we are going to discuss about this. Is I've uh, written also fa ain lam, mizan sarfi, that is what is scale, tulasi mujarab, that, 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 that the uh, scale consists of three letters, that is fa ain lam. Likewise, I've given those. Three is, I mean, these are, uh, there are six families of uh, three basic root letters. Six chapters are six families of Thulati Mujarrad. What are those? Let's start them. Like the first family, it has what? Fatha, Anfa, Ain, Lam in Mazi. Means all three letters are Maftuh, Fa'ala, like a Nasara. Okay, Nasara is over there. But when it comes to uh, Muzare, means Muzare means that uh, represents or gives sense of present and future tense. The harf or the letter N is going to be Mazmoon. So what like Naswara Yan Thuru. Now, if we just try to have a comparison in Naswara, in the place of uh, fa, there is noon, okay? And swad is in the, at the, in the place of ain, and ra is in the place of lam, naswara, 
Tanyan Soro. Then the second family that also Fa Ain Lam are Maftu. Three letters are Maftu. Fa Maftu, Ain Maftu, La Maftu. But in Muzare, Ain is Maksur, like Yadribu Fa'ala Yaf'ilu. Again, the, in the first family, Fa Ain Lam, they are Maftu. And in Muzare, the Ain is Mazmum. Fa'ala Yaf'ulu. In second family, Fa Ain Lam, three of them, they are Maftu. But in Muzare, Ain is Maksur. Like Yaf'ilu. And in the third family, and one means the books are shared with you, Safat al Masadir, like you will be getting more stems, means more uh, means words. The, those words, they are related with family number one. The words related with family number two. Okay. Uh, I'll also discuss that with you. I'll show you that as well. Okay. Then you can definitely go for more practice. Okay. The second one we have done that fa'in la maftu, but ain maksur in uh, muzare. Then the third family, it is different. It it fa is maftu, fatah may be missing over there, but ain is maksur over here. This is the first time we see that the ain of stem fa'in la is maksur fa'ila, but the ayn of the second means in muzare that is maftu. Fa'ila yaf'alu. Like sami yasma'u. Right? And the fourth family, you have to remember these ozan. These are six ozan. As this is what the six families. And the fourth family, amazingly, ayn is maftu in uh, fa'in lam of ma'zi. And Ain is also Maftu in Fa, I mean in, in Muzare. Fa'ala yaf'alu, like Fatha yaf'tahu. And in the fifth family, have I missed one? Sorry. Yes, I have missed one. Right. I'm going to show you that as well. Okay. The fifth family is Fa'ila Yaf'ilu. Fa'ila Yaf'ilu. Or we can make it sixth as well. Means Ain is Maksur in Mazi and Ain is Maksur in Muzare. Like Hasi wa Yahsibu. Fa'ila Yaf'ilu. Hasi wa Yahsibu. And the fifth, the last one is Fa'ula yaf'ulu means Ain is Masmum in Mazi and Ain is Masmum in Muzari, like Karuma Yakrumu. These are six families. Any questions? How many families we have learned? Hurry up. Six. Six. Six families. And how we how do we recognize them? By the harakat on the uh, middle. Consonant. Okay, means harakat on middle. Uh, means kalima. Uh, uh, means ayn of the kalima ayn. Kalima ayn. Yes. Of the of the stem. Okay, and that is what fa ayn lam. These are harufe. What are those? What type of harufe are these? Those harufe asliya. Harufe asli. Okay. Original letters. Hurufe asli. They are not zaid. Zaid means extra. If there will be extra, that will be thalathi mazid fi. And we haven't learned that so far. Okay. So, how many families? Six. Six families. So, we can also understand the different words they can, they, they, they belong to. These different six families. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. How you understand that? An example? Example, like the first example. That is what? 
Okay. Yes. Any other example? Um, fa'ala yaf'ilu and fa'ila yaf'alu. Okay, so you can see this uh, uh, new book I have opened. Yes. Okay. Now you see, this is what Bab means family of Nasara Yansuru. When we talk about Nasara Yansuru, what does it mean? Hurry up. What does it mean? Hello. It means that uh, um, it's. Um... Thulasi al Mujarr. Thulasi al Mujarr, the first chapter of the first family. Maftuhul Ain in Mazi and Masmumul Ain in Muzare. What is it? Fa'ala Yafulu. What did I say? Maftuhul Ain in Mazi and Masmumul Ain in Muzare. What does it mean? It means in the uh, the Maldi, the the Ain Kalima has a fatha, mm -hmm. and in the Mudari, the Ain Kalima has a kasra. Kasra. Sorry. Uh, uh, dhamma, 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 dhamma. Okay. Sorry. Dhamma. No, no, issues. Yeah. Ah, no issues. When you make mistakes, you learn more. Okay. So you see, this is what Bab Nasara Yansuru. Now. All these masadir like an nasru, al khuruju, al duhulu, al qurudu, al talabu, al harabu. All of them they belong to the first family. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So means you will find out the families and you will practice. Like I'm giving you. Uh, I'm also opening the another book for you. Like this is where is the book? Uh, okay, let me open the book. Sorry. This is the book I've shared with you, right? This is Abba Busarf. Okay. Which family is this? It's first, uh, first family. Sulasi al Mujarru. It is written over here. Just you need to see it. Fa'ala yaf'ilu. Okay? The second family. Right? But it is given first family over here. So, uh, who, who is going to read the Gardan? Hurry up, hurry up. May I? Yes. Zorabe, Zorabe, Zorabu, Zorabet, Zorabete, Zorabne, Zorabte. Zarabtuma, Zarabtum, Zarabti, Zarabtuma, Zarabtunna, Zarabtu, Zarabna. Okay, can you also tell us or uh, analyze the Sigas that uh, which group of words belong to Ghaib, Mudakkar, Mu'annath, Mudakkar, Hadir, Mu'annath, Hadir, and Mutakallim? Yes. Hmm. Zaraba, Wahid, Mudakkar, Ghaib. No, no, just tell the that uh, just just uh, means uh, uh, complete family. The complete family means complete. Uh, some some words they belong to this. These words belong to this. These words belong to this. Okay, zora ba zora ba zora bu. Wahid muzakkar gaib. Muzakkar gaib. Muzakkar gaib. Three of them muzakkar gaib. Yes. Okay. Then. Muannas uh, Ghaib. From Zarabat to Zarabna. Yeah. Okay. And the third is Muzakkar uh, Mukhatib. Zarabta to Zarabtum. Okay. Yeah. Yani Muzakkar Hadir. Okay. Then. Then Muannas Hazir Zarabti to Zarabtunna. 
Okay. And Sorab uh, too, Sorabna is Mutakalim, Jama Mutakalim. Okay. So this one, Zaraba, Zaraba, Zarabu, is it Malum or Majhul? Um, it is Malum. Okay. Okay, good. Now, anyone else? How can you give the meaning of Mazi Malum, active voice? How can you explain the meaning of Zaraba? What is the meaning of that? Ek monas ne mara. Zaraba, ek monas ne mara. Muzakkar, Usne mazi me mara. Okay, right. He hit and passed. Okay. Can you identify passive eyes over there, over here? No. Anyone else? I can't see any passive voice here. Because, yes, uh, because Pura Malum ka hai ye. Who can uh, identify passive voice? Anyone from you? Sir, yes, this is passive voice. Yes. Yes, I mean, I'm just first of all, I'm asking you. This is passive voice. Yeah, majhul hai. Zoriba, zoriba, zoribu, zoribat, zoribata, zoribna, zoribta, zoribtuma, zoribtum, zoribti, zoribtuma, zoribtunna, zoribtu, zoribna. Yes. Kya difference hai meaning ka? What is the meaning difference? Usko mara gaya. He was, mara gaya. He was hit. Wo mara gaya. He was bitten. Yes. Okay. Okay, let me ask Eman. Eman, what is the meaning of Nasara? He was helped. Nasara? No, no, no. He helped. Nusira? He was helped. Okay. Okay, this is the Saima. I'm asking you now. What is the meaning of Samia? Samia um, means he had. Samia or Samiat? Samia. Uh, Samia. Oh, um, Samia. This one it is was, written over. It was heard. Yeah. He heard or he has heard? He has heard. He heard, past tense, past simple. Okay, okay it, if it is so um, near. It was heard. Okay, so near. Like Nusira. What what does it mean? Nusira. He was helped. He was helped. And now Samia, maybe you have to bring some positive verb to uh, translate properly. Sumia. So am I, am I translating Samia or Sumia? Sumia. Now Sumia. Yeah. I don't know, so I'll be guessing. He was made to hear. Right, okay. Right? Okay, like Fatha. What does it mean by Fatha? Opening. Complete fatha. meaning. Fatha. Uh -huh. fatha. Fatha means he, he, he opened. Okay, Fatha. Fatha, it was opened. Okay. If we bring means if we say it was opened, or if we say he was made to open. He was made right. to open. Right? Okay. So mm -hmm. what Bob is missing over here? Can you tell me? He was made to hear in Samia. No, no. I have written five, five families. One family is missing. What is that? Can I tell? Yes. 
فاعل يفعل لايك 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 سمع يسمع فاعل يفعل اي تولد يو اولسو ذا وورد فور ذات اني ويري فروم يو اني ورد فاعل يفعل فتيح يفعل ها No, hasiba yahsibu. Okay, now one question. Can we use like nasura yansuru with other families as well? Like nasura yansuru is for ala yafulu. Can we use for nasura yansiru? I told you something about it, if you remember. Are yes, you with sir. me? I don't remember. I told you that all the families have, have a different words, are different words belong to different families. Like Nasara Yansuru, I gave you example from Safwatul Masadir that the, these words can only be used with Nasara Yansuru, not with other family. Now, do you remember? Okay, different words belong to different families. Okay? okay. You just have to go to uh, Sahih. That means if it, there comes uh, Mahmoos, there comes uh, Naqis, there comes uh, Ajwaf, you don't have to go to all these words. Initially, just you have to go to Sahih. Just let me tell you. Over here, you can see these are the examples with Sahih. Bab Nasara Yansuru Sahih, right? Okay, then we go to another Bab. This is Bab, bab number, family number two, Dharaba Yadribu. Now, these all words, Ghalaba Yaglibu. Kazaba yakdibu, kasaba yaksibu, kaswada yaksidu, ghafara yakfiru, kasara yaksiru. They all belong to family number two. Do you understand now? Yes. Yes. And now this is what third family. Samiya yasma'u means fa'ila yaf'alu. All these words belong to that family. Rakiba yarkabu, shariba yashrabu, labitha yalbathu. Means there are specific words with each specific family. So every word cannot be used in six families. Is it clear now? Who, who, yes. who can repeat it? Whatever I said. What did I say? Yes. Every family has uh, uh, its own specific words. Okay, means different words, they belong to different families. Every word cannot be used with each family. Oh. Yes. Okay, any questions up to now? Is it understood? Anyone have any questions? No, sir. No. So, can you can you uh, start 